Atlantic immigration pilot is a pathway to permanent residence for skilled foreign workers and international graduates who want to work and live in one of Canada's four Atlantic provinces, Newfoundland and Labrador, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. This is an employer-driven program designed to help employers in Atlantic Canada hire qualified candidates for jobs they have been unable to fill locally. To immigrate to Atlantic Canada through the pilot, you must be a recent graduate of a publicly funded institution in Atlantic Canada or a skilled worker who meets the program requirements. What are the publicly funded institutions? You can be living abroad, or already be in Canada temporarily. Note, you must receive a job offer from a designated employer in Atlantic Canada to participate in the pilot. If you receive a job offer from an employer, ask for a copy of the employer's confirmation of designation, or tell them about the Atlantic immigration pilot and ask them to consider becoming designated, if they aren't already. As of June 1, 2019, your spouse or common-law partner can apply for an open work permit if you have a work permit through the Atlantic Immigration Pilot, and your job is listed as Skill Type 0 or Skill Level A, B or C in the National Occupation Classification. What are the Atlantic high-skilled program requirements? In general, you must have worked in a management, professional or technical skilled job for at least a year, have at least a Canadian high school diploma or equivalent education, take a language test to show you can communicate in English or French, show you can support yourself and your family when you come to Canada, the employer must also meet certain requirements. What are the eligibility criteria for Atlantic High Skilled Program? 1. Work experience. In the last three years, you must have worked at least 1,560 hours. This is how many hours you would have worked in one year if you were working 30 hours per week. This work must have been at National Occupational Classification NOC, Skill Type Level 0, A, or B. To calculate your hours, count hours worked in part-time and full-time jobs. The hours must be in one occupation, but they can be with different employers. You must have been paid for these hours. Volunteering or unpaid internships don't count. Don't count hours when you are self-employed. These working hours can be inside or outside Canada. The hours must have been accumulated over a period of at least 12 months. If you aren't eligible for the Atlantic High Skilled Program, see if you're eligible for the Atlantic Intermediate Skilled Program. Any periods of self-employment will not be included when calculating the period of qualifying work experience. 2. Education. You must have one of the following. 
a Canadian secondary, high school, or post-secondary certificate, diploma, or degree from a recognized institution. A foreign degree, diploma or certificate, equal to a Canadian credential. You'll need an educational credential assessment ECA report from a recognized organization to show your credential is valid and equal to a Canadian credential. If you already have an ECA report, it must be less than five years old when IRCC receive your permanent resident application. 3. Language Testing You must take one of the language tests IRCC approve. The test shows you can communicate in English or French well enough to live and work in Canada. If you have taken an approved test, you can send those results if they are less than two years old. Show you meet the level the program requires. You may check from the previous video the approved language testing for this program. 4. Proof of Funds You need to have enough money to support yourself and your family when you get to Canada. The amount you need depends on the size of your family. The size of your family also includes anyone you support who isn't immigrating with you. Check from the table how much money you should have when you arrive in Canada. If you're already living and working in Canada with a valid work permit, you don't need to show proof of funds. How to start an application for the Atlantic High Skilled Program. Get ready to apply. Read the instruction guide, IMM 5424, for important information about your eligibility, fees, and how to apply. A link for instruction guide is provided in the description box. Get your checklist and forms checklist. Document checklist. Use your checklist to make sure you include all the forms and documents you need. Place the checklist on top as a cover to your application package. Forms for the employer to fill out. Offer of employment TA Foreign National Atlantic Immigration Pilot Project. Note, the employer must fill out the form and give it to you to submit with your application. You must read and sign the declaration at the bottom. Forms for your principal applicant to fill out. Generic application form for Canada. Additional Dependents Declaration Schedule A Background Declaration Economic Class Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program Additional Family Information Supplementary Information Your Travels Separation Declaration for Minors Traveling to Canada Statutory Declaration of Common Law Union Use of a Representative Use the instruction guide to fill out your application forms. Make sure you have Adobe Reader 10 or higher and JavaScript is turned on. If you have trouble downloading, right-click the link and choose Save Target As. Fill out the form on your computer instead of by hand. It's easier and reduces mistakes that can cause delays. Fill out, print, sign and date your application forms. IMM 0008 is a barcode form. Make sure you validate it and submit all the pages. Click the validate button at the top or bottom of the form. Validating the form before printing makes sure that you have answered all the questions. This will help you to avoid delays in processing your application. One or more pages with barcodes and a signature line will automatically be created. Print. Sign and date the form. Use white, high quality and non-glossy paper. Use a laser printer if you can. Place the IMM0008 form, including the barcode pages, on the top of your application package. How to pay your fees? Pay your fees online. You can pay your fees in different ways depending on the fee type and where you are paying from. Get payment instruction link is available in this video's description. 
How to submit your application. Mail your complete application to the address in the instruction guide or see the sample mail. Sample mail. International Graduate Program under Atlantic Immigration Pilot. The Atlantic Immigration Pilot. AIP has three programs. Atlantic High Skilled Program. Atlantic Intermediate Skilled Program. And Atlantic International Graduate Program. If you've lived and studied in one of the Atlantic provinces, you may be eligible to apply for the Atlantic International Graduate Program. How to apply for Atlantic International Graduate Program. 1. Find out if you're eligible. To qualify, you must have lived in an Atlantic province for at least 16 months in the two years before getting your degree, diploma or credential. Meet the education requirements. Take a language test to show you can communicate in English or French. Show that you have enough money to support yourself and your family when you get to Canada. Work experience. This program doesn't require work experience. Education. You must meet all of these requirements. You must have at least a two-year degree, diploma, certificate, or trade or apprenticeship credential from a recognized publicly funded institution in an Atlantic province. You must have been a full-time student for the entire duration of your studies. You graduated from this institution in the 24 months before IRCC received your permanent resident application. You lived in the Atlantic province of the institution granting the education credential for at least 16 months within the 24-month period before the credential was granted. You had the visa or permit you needed to work, study or train in Canada. Your study or training program can't be either. English or French second language courses for more than half the length of the program. Distance learning undertaken for more than half the length of the program. You can't apply if you had a scholarship or fellowship requiring you to return to your home country after you graduate. Accelerated studies. You can accelerate your studies and complete your education credential in less than two years. The education credential must still be considered as part of a two-year program by the educational institution at which it is being offered. Note, the entire two-year program education credential must be obtained from one single institution and must have been obtained within 24 months of the date on the application for permanent residence. Education outside Canada. Only your education in Canada is considered. However, if you have education credentials from outside Canada you want to include, you must have your education outside Canada assessed. Language testing. Even though you are educated in Canada, you must take one of the language tests IRCC approve. The test shows you can communicate in English or French well enough to live and work in Canada. If you have taken an approved test, you can send those results if they are less than two years old. Show you meet the level the program requires. Proof of funds. You need to have enough money to support yourself and your family when you get to Canada. The amount you need depends on the size of your family. The size of your family also includes anyone you support who is isn't immigrating with you. If you're already living and working in Canada with a valid work permit, you don't need to show proof. 2. Get a job offer. You must have a job offer that meets all of these requirements. The job offer was made using the offer of employment to a foreign national form. The employer has been designated as an employer taking part in the AIP by the Atlantic province where you'll be working. New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, or Prince Edward Island. 
They must have a confirmation of designation from the province. The job must be full-time, meaning you'll work at least 30 paid hours per week. The job must be non-seasonal. In general, this means you have consistent and regularly scheduled paid employment throughout the year. The job is skill type level 0, A, B or C under the National Occupational Classification, NOC. The employer is offering you a job that will last for at least one year. You must meet employment requirements for the job you are offered. You can find these requirements in the NOC. The job doesn't need to be in the same NOC as other jobs you've had. 3. Submit your application. When you and the employer have completed all the steps, you can submit your permanent residence application. To save time, start filling in your application before all of the steps are completed. Gather the documents that go with your application as soon as you can. Mail your complete application to the address in the instruction guide. Instruction guide link is available in the description box. What are the important forms needed in application for the Atlantic International Graduate Program? Get ready to apply. Read the instruction guide, IMM 5497, for important information about your eligibility, fees and how to apply. Get your checklist and forms. Document checklist. Use your checklist to make sure you include all the forms and documents you need. Place the checklist on top as a cover to your application package. Forms for the employer to fill out. Offer of employment TA Foreign National Atlantic Immigration Pilot Project. Note, the employer must fill out the form and give it to you to submit with your application. You must read and sign the declaration at the bottom. Forms for you, as principal applicant to fill out. Generic application form for Canada. Additional dependence declaration. Schedule A, background declaration. Economic class Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Additional family information. Supplementary information. Your travels. Separation declaration for minors traveling to Canada. Statutory declaration of common law union. Use of a representative. How to use the instruction guide to fill out your application forms. Make sure you have Adobe Reader 10 or higher, and JavaScript is turned on. If you have trouble downloading, right-click the link and choose Save Target as. Fill out the form on your computer instead of by hand. It's easier and reduces mistakes that can cause delays. IMM0008 is a barcode form. Make sure you validate it and submit all the pages. Click the validate button at the top or bottom of the form. Validating the form before printing makes sure that you have answered all the questions. This will help you to avoid delays in processing your application. One or more pages with barcodes and a signature line will automatically be created. Print, sign and date the form. Use white, high quality and non-glossy paper. Use a laser printer if you can. Place the IMM0008 form, including the barcode pages, on the top of your application package. Check the description box and the two last videos uploaded for the important links related to your program.